arm assembly four. What integer does this program print with argument blah, file, flag format, okay. Switching things up. All right, well, let's see what we got here. We'll open this in WordPad. Hmm, lots of functions. All right, I'm getting sort of tired of actually reverse engineering ARM assembly. So I've got a whole file here. I think we're just gonna try to run it. Just gonna try to run it. So we'll go over here and let's say we just need an ARM assembly emulator and GCC on my Ubuntu machine. So I'll go apt install bin needles arm architecture 64 bits Linux GNU all right and away we go now we'll get that file Okay, so now we need to run the assembler for the ARM architecture 64-bit Linux GNU. And then we'll run the linker. So we're missing an undefined reference to A to I and an undefined reference to printf. Those are kind of important. Maybe we won't try to compile it statically. Hmm. Okay, I think I've got it. What we'll do is we'll just ask the C compiler to do it for me. So the linker. All right, so. Sure. Brilliant, all right, so now we have a 64-bit ELF ARCH64. Of course, we can't run that exactly because we don't have, we're not a, I mean, we're not a 64-bit ARM, so we need an emulator. So we'll get QEMU. That should hopefully enable us to just run this file. Uh, no such file or directory. Oh, right, I took out the static flag. I was trying to get GCC working. Okay, segmentation fault because I didn't give it a command line argument. So I need to give it this command line argument. All right, so there's my result. I need it in hex. So base is 16. All right, 
two, four, six, eight. So there it is. It needs to be a lowercase. So pico ctf no zero x bf. And there we go.